Good morning, Scorpio. This is Renee, and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're returning, welcome. This reading will be for January 15th through the 31st. Uh, we'll look at, the, well, this is a general reading. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Scorpio, let's take a look at your energy. We have affirmations for acceptance. Okay. And we also have water magic. So Scorpio, what are you doing your magic on? What is going on with you, Scorpio? Let's take a look at some more energy. Let's take a look at some more energy. What energy do we have for Scorpio for January 15th through the 31st? We have all paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. So, yeah, I feel like, Scorpio, you're looking for acceptance. And you may be doing a lot of inner soul searching. You know, you also have the seeds of Mentaka. Seeing potential. Being, bringing unconsciousness to light. So, yeah, you're looking for awareness, Scorpio. I'm going to take one of these as well. You're looking for awareness. You're looking to shine that inner light. And we have keep your thoughts positive, Scorpio. I feel like that's going to be very important for you right now is to keep your uh, thoughts positive. And look for syn synchronicities. Look for signs and synchronicities. If you're seeing numbers like 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, uh, three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 and you know, look for synchronicities. And if you need to, go ahead and Google those angel numbers so that you can get meanings for them. Um, if you Google the numbers, you'll get actually the meaning of the numbers, what you're going through, what kind of guidance is coming towards you for those angel numbers. Okay, and let's take a look at the tarot. What does the tarot have to say for Scorpio? For January 15th through the 31st. What's coming in for Scorpio? Scorpio, we have the Hierophant. So definitely you're learning something. You may learn you may be learning how to do certain things. You also may be teaching. Um, or you may be following a traditional path. Looking for a traditional expectations. You know, kind of conforming to the, the standards. What else do we have for Scorpio? Temperance. Okay, so you're definitely looking for that inner balance. You are looking for healing. I feel like you're looking for more harmony. You may be trying to gain patience in a situation. And you have the star. How many major arcana can you get all at once, Scorpio? Yeah, you're definitely going through healing. The star is healing power. Um, this usually comes after a tower moment. This is your healing, your new hope, your inner clarity. This is you gaining balance, gaining clarity, looking for that inner insight. You know, what I was feeling in the beginning. But this is you really working on yourself. Having faith that miracles will come. 
you know, shining your inner light. That's how I'm feeling, Scorpio. You're shining your inner light. The Empress, wow. So look, look at this. We have the Hierophant, Temperance, the Star, the Empress. All three cards that came out so far are all major arcana. So this is a very, very important message for you, uh, Scorpio. And I feel like you're very attractive. You're very abundant. You also may be very fertile. You may be thinking about starting a family. Or you may also be a mother or, um, or a parent. You may be a single parent doing things on your own. But I feel like this is a very good time for you to manifest things in your life. While you're shining your inner light, Scorpio, I feel like you're working on your manifestations. You're setting your intentions. You're, you know, visualizing your goals. You're trying to bring something down into reality. Okay, now we have the Empress and the Emperor. Wow, the whole top row is nothing but Major Arcana. So this is very important. This is a very important message. Now the Empress and the Emperor, those are both counterparts. So you may have a very important love interest that's coming into your life. If they're not already in your life. I feel like the emperor is taking hold of this beautiful empress. You know, they're showing their control, their authority. They're, you know, they're very powerful. Um, but they're taking the lead in some sort of action. The emperor, they're very strategic in their planning. You know, this could also be a father figure. Um, so where we have the mother, we also have the father. So, yeah, this is very important, Scorpio. This is beautiful energy. Beautiful, strong message coming out here. What else do we have for Scorpio? What else do we have for Scorpio? The Seven of Wands. So where you are learning something, Scorpio, I feel like you're also defending or you're protecting what it is that you're learning. This is something that you may be holding close to yourself. You may be keeping this a secret. Um, but this is something that you're definitely protecting. You're holding up the defense, you know, um, because I feel like whatever it is that you're learning it's very important to you and you want to kind of keep that to yourself before you let anybody know what you're working on what else do we have for scorpio the seven of pentacles so seven seven may be very important look at the synchronicities um scorpio seven seven so seven seven is happiness it's coming into good fortune. This is a very beautiful reading. I feel like you're working on some kind of situation that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance. I feel like you're working very hard on this. You know, this is something that you're tending to with a lot of patience. A lot of, you're putting a lot of time into this. You know, but I feel like you're taking your time with it. You're finding your balance. What else do we have for Scorpio? The High Priestess. Wow. So right under the star, we have the High Priestess. So this is very interesting because, you know, the High Priestess, she talks about secrets. She talks about mysteries. She also talks about learning to trust your intuition, learning to follow wherever the universe leads. And I feel like this is a very strong message to kind of let you know that 
following your intuition, trusting yourself is going to bring a lot of hope, a lot of renewal, a lot of inner clarity. It's going to boost your, your way of manifesting something into your life. You know, and that goes along with being very positive, thinking very positive thoughts at this moment, um, feeling accepted, you know. So I feel like, wow, January is going to be a time of great discovery for you. Now, look at this. We also have the Wheel of Fortune, definitely. And what did I say? 7-7. Seven, seven is happiness and coming into good fortune and we have the wheel of fortune which is also good fortune something turning in your favor you pointed into the right direction you know you moving into that energy um that's taking you forward in on the right path so this is wow wow Scorpio and of course now look at this the only two that are not major arcana are the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles so I feel like you have a lot of passion for this and this is going to bring you a lot of good fortune um, you have the fool this is a new journey you're going on this is something that you're taking a risk at you're you're taking this leap of faith that you're following the right lead and I feel like this is going to make all the difference this is going to be something beautiful for you because you also have the nine of cups at the bottom Scorpio so this is your dreams come true this is your contentment you know this is full of happiness full of satisfaction this is bringing new life into the situation so I really, really, really love this energy for you. This is just interesting. And we also have the chariot. So you're moving in the right direction. I feel like the universe is leading you into the right direction. You're pointed at the right location. <coughs> you're taking inspired action. And you're going on this journey. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful, Scorpio. And I, I feel like this is one of the most amazing um, readings that I have done in quite a while. So I'm very excited for you. I am very excited for you. Let's go ahead and clarify a bit. Let's clarify. Not that we even need to because this is just really beautiful energy. Let's see. Spirits. Give me some clarity on this. What is the situation? Tell me more. Tell me about this hierophant. What does this hierophant mean? Tell me what this hierophant is. The Knight of Cups. You know what, Scorpio? I feel like with this Knight of Cups, I feel like whatever you're, yearn, you're learning, uh, whatever this is teaching you, this experience, I feel like it's bringing a lot of love. Um, I feel like you're taking great care of the situation. You know, if this is love, I feel like with this Hierophant, this is something that you've never felt before. This is something that's totally new to you. This is going to take you on a totally new journey. Tell me about this temperance. Tell me more about this temperance card, spirit. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're moving into this situation. You're moving into this happiness, this harmony, this tranquil time. You're moving into it very fast. And you're very passionate about this situation. This is going to bring you so much good news. Oh my goodness. This is you, Scorpio. Taking creative action. You know, being a free spirit. Letting the universe guide you into this next journey of your life. 
Tell me more about this star card, Spirit. Tell me more about this star. The Ten of Cups. Yes, with this healing. With this feeling of inner clarity. I, I feel like miracles are happening. And I feel like it's bringing about a lot of abundance. A lot of happiness. This is bringing a lot of joy into your life. I feel like January is going to be very important to you. This is something that you definitely want to take notice of. You definitely don't want to look away for a second because I feel like everything that's coming is like mind-blowing. Your mind is going to be blown in January. Definitely. Tell me about this Empress. Spirit, tell me more about this Empress. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. So, with this Empress, I feel like, you know, um, you're manifesting something. And I feel like someone is going to bring you the generosity that's going to pull this manifestation through to reality. Someone is giving you some kind of inspiration, some kind of help that's just pulling you into this feeling of gratitude of you know being fully satisfied being fully cared for and taken care of um, I feel like this feeling is very balanced it's it's giving you something like no other I just I can't put my finger on it if this is love this is beautiful it's beautiful tell me about this emperor Tell me about this emperor, the page of swords. Yeah, so I feel like this emperor is coming in. This emperor is coming in who is very powerful, very authoritative. You know, this is a father figure. This could also be your male counterpart. You know, he's a very strategic learner. Um, he's planning out his situation. He knows how to take the lead. And he's very respected. I also feel like with this emperor is coming a lot of truth. And it's also bringing out a lot of your curiosities. You want to look further into this to find answers, mysteries, secrets. You know, you want to know more. You want to know as much about this person as possible because you feel like your curiosity is totally, totally sparked. You know? Um, and I feel like with all of these good things happening to you, I feel like people are talking. You're the one on people's tongue this month, you know? They're speaking your name. They're kind of raising your vibration while they do it and and I feel like it's really beautiful energy really beautiful tell me about this seven of wands tell me more about the seven of wands the ten of pentacles whatever it is that you're protecting whatever secrets you're holding of whatever you're doing in your life is going to bring you a lot of abundance it's going to bring you a lot of satisfaction, a lot of self-sufficiency. Um, it's also going to bring you something that is very, very dear to your heart. I feel like it's, it's just bringing you something that is just luxury for you. This is gaining your financial status, you know. And this may be you being more independent. You're finally finding your independence. Very beautiful energy. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Seven of Pentacles spirit. What is this Seven of Pentacles? The Seven of Wands. Definitely. Definitely. You're protecting this energy. We have the Seven of Wands here and the Seven of Wands here. So you're definitely protecting this. This is something that you don't want people to know right away. You don't want them to know what you're doing. You're kind of keeping it secret. You're keeping it a mystery. You know? And I, I feel like whatever you're doing, Scorpio, it is definitely working out for you. 
but I feel like, you know, this also may be you kind of competing in a situation. <clears throat> But if I feel like you, if if I feel like you have to compete, I feel like it will not be for long because you are going to be at the top of your game. Definitely, very interesting. Tell me about this high priestess spirit. What is this high priestess? The tower. Yeah, I feel like. Whatever you were doing before, it didn't quite work because you didn't have full trust in yourself. You didn't have full trust in yourself, in your own capabilities. So I feel like, I feel like you may have tried this situation before, but you just didn't, you fell short from hitting your goal. You know what I mean? Um, if this is love, I feel like, <clears throat> Scorpio... I feel like you didn't trust the situation, so you didn't let this person into your, you didn't lower your guards to let this person in. But I feel like, you know, you seen that tower collapse, and you really don't want to see another tower collapse. I feel like it kind of pushed you to trust. It pushed you to listen to your inner being, to listen to that inner, um angel that's within you you know what i mean um but i feel like it gave you a lot of clarity because like i said you have the star right underneath that tower now usually the star comes after the tower to provide healing you've got healing you've got happiness so this tower was in your past you've already gained healing from this tower moment and now you're gaining the secrets to whatever reason this tower fell so it's beautiful it's beautiful energy tell me about this will of fortune spirit tell me more about this will of fortune tell me more about this will of fortune the hermit yeah I feel like <clears throat> before you didn't have the clarity that moved you into this good fortune event. You were looking for the answers. You were looking for spiritual guidance in the situation. But I feel like you're you're gaining that spirituality. You're staying more positive. You're looking for your acceptance. You're feeling it. You're feeling the angels around you that your happiness and good fortune is coming forward for you. So I feel like that's that's puts you into this situation. The hermit is carrying the star. So he's leading by the star. He's leading by his healing, by his clarity. You know, he's he's took his time on his own. He's got the answers that he needed. And now he's shining his light to find his way. So that's what I feel like you're doing to gain this will of fortune you've shined your light to gain your way and now you're going on this new journey tell me more about this full card spirit tell me more about this full yeah the seven of pentacles so see we have seven seven again so definitely this is happiness and good fortune a lot of happiness and good fortune is coming your way there is no doubt about it. You just have to be be wise. Gain your wisdom. Gain your clarity. Be positive. You know? And you're going on this new journey. And I feel like you put a lot of work into this situation. You have definitely did the work. And now it's time for you to gain your results. I feel like whatever these results are, whenever this new journey is starting... It's been a long time coming. This has been something that's been delayed until you were mentally ready for the situation to come into your life. And now because you're, you're, you're gaining the clarity, because you're gaining the wisdom, because you're following your intuition and trusting yourself, you're finally ready 
to move into this situation. You're finally ready to gain your happiness, your abundance, you know, your good fortune. You're finally ready. So that is beautiful, beautiful energy. You also have the Knight of Swords. Like I said, I feel like you're, you've, you've gotten all the answers you need to get. You've been patient in your situation. This is going to be a complete lifestyle change. A complete lifestyle change. This is very beautiful energy. You have three nights out of four. You know, this is something that's coming towards you. It's moving at a good pace. And I feel like that, that's been you, Scorpio. You're moving at a good pace. You're not standing still. You're taking action for your future, for, you know, whatever it is that you're working towards. And I can feel that excitement, that energy, that that drive that you have. That is just really beautiful energy. Okay, Spirit. <clears throat> Let's get some Oracle cards to finish this out. Let's get some Oracle cards. Tell me what Scorpio needs to know about this situation. What does Scorpio need to know? Tell me what Scorpio needs to know about this situation. Humanity and Belevience. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. And see the light of the world. So yes, definitely trust. See the good inside yourself. See the good inside of others, Scorpio. Because that's going to lead your intuition into this new level. We also have Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Your truth is coming through, you know. And I actually feel like taking one more card. So we're going to take one more card. We do what spirit leads us to do, definitely. One more card for Scorpio. Yeah, we have Lord Ganache. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Definitely. Beautiful. And we have... Nah, no, I'm not, I'm not going to say this right. Krenshna. Devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally so your your angels are letting you know that you're you're loved you're loved beyond measure you know and you're being rewarded because of your obedience you're being rewarded because you know you're following your intuition you're trusting yourself more you're feeling more accepted you're open to this situation you know with this empress and this emperor wow you know this is just a beautiful reading i'm very excited for you scorpio take a moment and ask a question take a moment and ask a question if you need to pause the video you can do so um but we're gonna pull some cards that are going to answer your questions Okay. All right. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? We have strength and guidance. So strength and guidance are going to pull you through. Be strong in your situation. Take charge and action. And that's going to take you where you need to be at. Okay, we're going to get two more cards. And this goes along with the same question. Or you can ask another. But Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? For January 15th through the 31st, what do we have for Scorpio? We have look for a sign. Yes, look for signs and synchronicities, Scorpio. Those signs and synchronicities are going to be very important to you. Look up the numbers. See what they mean. 
start a dream journal about your situation. Start something that's going to kind of let you look at what you are dreaming about. What's going through your mind. Usually our angels, they speak to us through our dreams. They come to us and they visit through our dreams. You know, you're going to get answers and clarity. Most likely through your dreams. What do we have for Scorpio? The situation will improve. Definitely. Your situation is improving immaculately. You know? Be assertive. Be assertive. Follow the universe's lead in the situation. And you will go places you had never been before. If this is love, this is beautiful. If this is money or lifestyle change in general, this is beautiful. Whatever is coming is a beautiful change for you, Scorpio. It's just, wow. The best reading I've done in a very long time. So, like I said, I'm so excited for you. Scorpio, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Also, Scorpio, <clears throat> many blessings to you. Until the next reading, love and light.